Hey man, say man. What's up, Kane's family? This your boy CJ Miami Kane87 checking back in with the Kane family. I wanted to touch bases with y'all about the, the coaching disconnect on this video right now. And a little bit of my opinion as well. Okay, so let's start off like this. Manny has exposed himself once again. I don't drop the video last time. Check it out. It was in the dark. Yes, I know. I was drinking at night. But at the same time, I'm telling facts. Okay, so now we got Manny talking about in his interview saying that, oh, Jared threw interceptions and, you know, it's going to happen in the game. But let's expose this some shit right quick. But, man, wasn't you the same person that said you wanted Jaron because of the fact is that he didn't turn the ball over? That he was very safe with the ball and you didn't want interception? But when it came to Nicosia bringing us back that game Saturday, this past Saturday, you wanted to nitpick. You wanted to basically go after Nicosia because of the fact is that he might have threw an interception or two, but he still gave us a better chance to win. But it's okay for Jerry to throw three interceptions in the first quarter and three back-to-back back drives? Now it's okay for us to have interceptions. Mm -hmm. The thing is, see my old lady be texting y'all. Y'all got to excuse the noise. That's what old lady is texting. But that besides the point. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to throw interceptions now? But if Perry does it, you still want to sit here and be like, oh, well, he took some risks. We don't care about interception, guys. We, we, I don't I don't care about interception as long as it wins us the games. As long as Perry can get, on, get us the win. I've been saying that for the longest. So, okay, so now he wants to tell Jerry, oh, it's okay to throw interceptions as part of the game. He wants to tell us it's part of the game. But you was just sitting there saying that's the main reason why you picked Jerry. Dude. You're backtracking. You're backpedaling on your words. I don't expose three three things that people, us Kane fans, should have paid attention to. Because I know I paid attention to it that he lied about. And that's on the other video. Y'all go check it out. Hit the like button. Watch it. Whatever. Subscribe to me. Whatever you want to do. But at least watch it so you be more notified in your mind about how you need to be watching how Manny runs this damn team now. Because it's clear that Enos is not the problem. True enough, he could take off a couple of them fucking play action passes. Other than that, if you got Perry, you know, the more experienced quarterback that has been proven to win games, big games at that, then after that, you will win more with Enos play calling. Okay, so we're going to go back to Enos, right? So we blame Enos for the play calling and shit like that, but come to find out that the play calling wasn't the problem all the way. It was somewhere the problem, but not all the way. It's a couple things he could tweak on there or whatever. But it wasn't just the play calling. It was the quarterback. Hmm. So, now Enos, I saw the interview with Enos. Enos was like, he he was speaking highly of my boy Perry. I always say Perry time, baby. Ask NM, NMD TV. Ask Coop. Ask uh, Jimmy Big Dog. Shout out to all of them. Ask, ask yo, yo, and, and uh, my other hurricane partner that I talked to on the phone. Can't remember his name. Not trying to be rude or nothing, but I talked to him. Check his channel out too. I forgot his name. I'll find out later when I drop the second video later on today. When I'm in my alcohol stage, so I'm gonna go back to what I said today. I mean earlier today, and I'm gonna bring that back up and throw some more stuff in there that y'all need to pay attention to. Okay, so you know, sat there and gave Perry praise because you could tell Enos wanted Perry to be the starting quarterback because he was the more experienced. And see, as us as fans, we didn't pay attention to that. We should have known Enos would have went with the experienced quarterback over the freshman. Well, technically, let me tell y'all another thing, guys. Technically, Jared is not a freshman, guys. <laughs> He's a red shirt freshman. That means he didn't play, he didn't start or get a lot of reps in every game. But he was on the campus and practicing with the team for two years. You understand me? Perry, not started, but he was plucked in and out of games with Malik, if y'all remember that. So he was a freshman when he got thrown in the fire. You gotta understand, Nikosa was going through growing pains the hard way. 
Jaren didn't go through no growing pains the hard way. Jaren wasn't no true freshman. Jaren was is a sophomore that was redshirted his freshman year, guys. Understand the difference. That means he has extra year eligibility, guys. If you playing like this and this is your second year on the university, practicing with the squad, and you have gotten in the game last season, but it was a dirt game, it might have been one game, but it's still you got in, buddy. So are you still playing like this this season? Obviously, you're not the quarterback. I mean, just being fair talk. Um, but besides that, Enos basically wants one pair to start. But just like Enos said, it's up to the head coach. Obviously, Manny wants to sit there and tell him who he wants to start a coaching. I mean, a quarterback. My bad, guys. He obviously telling Enos, I want Jaron to start the quarterback. I don't want Perry. And I've been seeing in the, in the comment section of Coops, Zoes, uh, Junior Big Dog, uh, NMD TV. I've been seeing in, in a lot of Kane Shade. I've been seeing a lot of stuff where people saying the reason why many don't want Perry to start is because Perry's a Haitian and, you know, Manny's a, 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 a Cuban. And you know that that does wages in in a regular lifestyle, but this is a university. Miami's a melting pot. Okay, Manny needs to get over that shit. Whatever the fuck, whatever he really have a beef with, hair about, Lingard about, whatever, miss me with that shit because we trying to win ball games now. If Lingard really came to you, Manny, I know I'm jumping subject to subject, but I got so much stuff on my mind. That's why I say I gotta make two videos today, guys. We got, we got to make two videos today, guys. We got to bring you that fire. We got to bring you that heat. Because I'm going to watch Zoe, Zoe thing. He's coming on. I think he said he's coming on at, uh, what time is it? 6.30 6 to 7 o'clock. Y'all watch him today. Because uh, I'm going to be watching him. And then I'm going to drop my video later on that night. And whoever else come on. I think NMD TV. He always drops stuff. Y'all check him out, too. So, okay. Back to what I was saying, though. So, I sit there reading really about the Haitian and Cuban thing dilemma, right? Like I was saying, man, fuck that shit, bro. We trying to win games. You feel me? Uh, Lingard, if you feel like you ain't 100% healthy and you want to take a red shirt and you're going to come back to us, great. Cannot complain with you, buddy. You know what's best for you. Do what you got to do, guy. But if you're not and you're just saying that just to make them happy, man, today... We know you're going to leave us then. But that's on you. That's going to, you know, you, you to me, I, I, like I said, I, I've been saying this. Don't take it wrong now. DJ Dallas did, did his thing when that run touchdown, but how many times does he do that shit? <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> the man's hot one day, he's cold the next. Let's go ahead and call it what it is. He's not a true running back. I'm sorry, I've been saying that for years. I've been saying that ever since they've been starting DJ at running back. But, you know, he's a talented guy, gives great effort. Let's put him somewhere else where we need him at. Because we got defense, we need some people later too. But I'm gonna get the defense too, guys. But I'm gonna go back to the coaching thing. Lingard, we're gonna need you. Period. Hands down. I always said it should have been Cam, Lingard, or Lingard or Cam. Rotate them two and then whoever else. You can put DJ after that or you can put Burns, you can put whoever after them two. But them need to be our start starting too. That's Clint Porters and fucking uh Clint Portis and uh, McGahee shit, nigga. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. The two of the baddest fucking running backs we got. Hands down. Cam Harris and fucking Lingard, baby. Putting coast at quarterback. Lingard and Cam Harris start. It don't matter. We're going to swap them out, baby. We got the two tandem back there, baby. You feel me? That's how we need to get them. But back to what Enos was saying. I know I'm jumping right there. I'm so excited. About sitting here and, and, and talking to y'all, man. Cause I love when y'all view in and y'all check in with your boy. But, uh, so, Enos wants Perry as quarterback. But Manny, stubborn ass, wants to keep Jaren in. Because I really thought, my opinion on that, I always thought Manny wanted Jaren because of the fact is, is that what he did last season, like, bro, get over that shit. You're a grown ass man. This is a kid. He's going to turn up. He's going to have a fucking ball. That's what he's supposed to do in college. Why you winning ball games? As long as he come up, show up the games, show out of the games, I don't give a fuck what you do off the field. As long as you don't get in trouble. Go enjoy yourself. You're a college kid. Enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Who does it? 
But um, like I was saying, Enos wants the quarterback to be. Enos want the quarterback to be Perry, and Manny wants it to be Jaren. Uh, as far as Blake uh, Baker, guy, you might as well just pack your shit because it's over for you. Either we, either Manny gonna call a, def, uh, a new defense coordinator in by next season or the end of this season, or you, well, Blake Baker, you gonna be gone. I understand you trying to learn, but this ain't the learning program. Take your ass to Temple, Temple that way. It's north, it's north, buddy. Take your ass up that way. They don't mind sitting there wasting wasting their time on on um, learning coaches and shit. We but we ain't got time for that shit. I think you're gonna be gone after this season, to be honest with you. If not this season, be in the next season. Cause I feel like Manny gonna end up dismissing your ass and basically taking back over the defense. Blake Baker, sorry, not sorry. We trying to win. Uh, but besides that, I just wanted to touch on the coaching connect thing and expose Manny again, once again, on another basis, on another situation. That's four things, guys. If you want to find out the first three, watch the other watch the other video I dropped the other night. Hit the like button. Comment. I will reply. Ask anybody I will reply to your comment. I show love. Uh, and I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all just keep on subscribing to me. I'm going to keep dropping these motherfucking bangers for y'all. Dropping this shit where y'all need to be paying attention to this team. I'm not going to sit here and ask for donations and shit like that because guess what? I ain't got no PayPal. I ain't got no motherfucking... Uh, 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 what is what that shit is? I ain't got none of that shit, and I don't care. I don't need donations. I do this shit because we're family, and I'm not living off this shit. You feel me? But uh, I'm not trying. I'm, I'm not doing nothing big. I just want to spread my knowledge of what I see, and and what I analyze from what everybody's talking about. And I'm gonna be back. I'm dropping another video later on tonight, and this time this shit's gonna be fucking crazy. Cause I'm gonna be drinking, and I'm gonna let all this shit out. So, once again, guys, it's great to be a motherfucking Miami Hurricane. Y'all tune in to Zoe, 7, 7 o'clock live, because I'm going to be there. Y'all have, I'll let your boy drop me a shout out. Tell him, hey, look at my videos. I'm bringing y'all what I see. I bring y'all how I feel. It might not be right, but I'll let y'all, man. Hey.